You know the fuel injectors are going to inject small, precise amounts of fuel to control emissions and fuel economy and get the maximum power out of each injection event. And it's going to be highly pressurized fuel. Let's look at these piezo injectors. Piezo injectors have hundreds of stacks of little crystals or piezo disc inside of it. These discs are simply crystals, very thin slices stacked on top of each other. When shocked by high voltage, that means when the PCM commands the signal to the piezo stacked injector, the disc is going to get longer. It's going to change its shapes. And as it lengthens, it's going to force the injector open. Piezo injectors are very, very fast. They're fast enough to allow the computer to make multiple injection events during a single combustion cycle. Let's look inside the injector here. We can see that inside the injector there are piezo stacked crystals. Let's look at it a different way. Move this over so we can say, hey, all those lines are very thin slices of piezo crystals. Now the piezo part is the theory. The crystals are just crystals they dig out of the ground and they make very thin slices and we keep repeating that. These are very thin slices and they're stacked on top of each other so that when electricity is sent to them they change their shape. They actually get longer to force the injector open. Let's look at this right here and at the bottom. Let's blow that up a little bit so we can see it. And we can see where the arrow's pointing. There's a space, meaning that when the PCM commands the injector open, it shocks those crystals and they change their shape and they create a very small opening in the injector pindle. The piezo crystals are going to expand or contract within an electrical field. Now this graphic here shows us that the stack is just expanding and contracting. Now let's look below those crystals right there to the working part of the injector. When we see that right there, we're going to use this graphic here. Now let's look right here and then we'll draw a line. The difference is when the piezo stack is contracted and not expanded right here. When it's not expanded, it forces a plunger down and the plunger pushes down on fuel and the fuel comes around and opens the injector pindle so we can have injection. The piezo injectors are more expensive to build and that's what limit them over the years. But now because of emission standards and all the personal drivers wanting performance, they had to go to direct injection and piezo injectors are what they use in GDI. Now it's going to require a very sensitive or a special control from the electronics inside the PCM. It's going to require high current drivers. Now the voltage to fire each injector is going to be somewhere between 65 and 95 volts. That doesn't mean that it alternates. What it means is different manufacturers have set and designed their piezo injectors to open at different voltage levels. Now if we're going to have multiple injection events, the first one is going to be on the lower voltage and then 